Hello there. Uh, this is a lesson on relating capacity and volume. And so I'm not going to go through this part because um, you need to do this first before I move on. But um, if you have not done this, then you need one of these and those little tiny centimeter cubes. Not the cube ones, but the small, small ones. Okay, but if you finished that, then please continue watching. So what we learned in this video, or I guess in this lesson, is that um, you can use displacement of water to find volume, okay? Because we know that one centimeter cubed, so those little cubes, is equal to one milliliter. So if I find that um, an object is two milliliters, then it's gonna be two centimeters cubed, okay? So I'm gonna practice using the steps. Um, so the first step is mark the water level on the graduated cylinder. This is a graduated cylinder. This is a measuring cup. It's not as accurate. So use a graduated cylinder. So I'm going to pour, let's say, 300 milliliters into my graduated cylinder. Now when you're pouring it, you want to be exact so that you know. You want to get down to le eye level with it. Oh, I poured too much in there. And I want to get exactly 300 so that I have easy calculations. Okay, so we're going to pour out until we have exactly 300. Okay, so I have exactly 300. So mark the web water level, which is, in my case, 300. Now, place the object completely in the water and mark the new level. I've got an orange, and we're gonna find the volume of this orange. So I'm going to place this orange, and I'm placing this because I know that it's waterproof. Don't put anything paper or cardboard in. And it also fits. So I'm going to place it in there, trying not to splash the water on it floats. Try not to splash the water up because that'll affect um, my uh, measurements if water comes out. Okay, we want it to stay in. Now this orange floats a little bit um, and it says completely in the water. So that means that I can take my pencil or my whiteboard marker and I can if you can see, I can put it just, just below so that it's just in and my marker is barely in. I don't want the marker in, but I know it has to go in just a little bit. I'm gonna use a pen because it has a smaller area. Okay, so what I do is I poke it in there and then um, I need to find the new water level. So the new water level is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so each of those ticks is 10. Uh, my new water level is 390. So this was, so 390 milliliters. Now, I need to subtract the original water level from the new water level. So the little number from the big number. So I'll go 390 minus 300. And you probably didn't have to write this one on top of the other, but I get 90. Okay, so the last um, thing that I need to do is uh, convert my milliliters to centimeters, and this should say cubed right there. Um, and so basically, that's really easy in this case. You just take that ml, pull it off, and put cm3 in the front. So that means that my orange is 90 centimeters cubed. And that's how to do it, okay? So you're going to actually be using graduated cylinders and finding objects to put into the graduated cylinder to find the volume, okay? And then I'll dry it off. I'm not just gonna leave it. All right. Um, you can read the rest of the page for the rest of your assignment.